What's up, everybody? It's Daniel Wiafi, the house flipping ninja, and I'm down here with my good friend and associate, Mr. Pedro Leja. How you doing, Pedro? I'm doing great, sir. How you doing? Good, good. So, hey, we are actually down here. We're looking at a mobile home that we're looking to flip. We got it under contract for zero dollars. You heard me right, exactly zero dollars. And uh, the issue with the mobile home is it is severely burned. Not sure if you can see this with the sun, but it's that. looking very, 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 very rancid looking like. And so basically what we're gonna need to do is jump the fence and check out the interior of the mobile home just to see what the damage is and see what type of stuff we're working with and see if we can uh, actually make some money with it. Uh, the good thing is we actually have some uh, potential buyers uh, thanks to Mr. Leha. Um, but uh, Pedro, give us some uh, some knowledge on mobile homes and the potential to making money with mobile homes. Definitely. Them. Well, basically this one is a double white. Basically what it is is a three bedroom, two bath. Uh, being a double white, the inside makes it look like a normal house, so you will never mm -hmm. know it's a mobile home unless you walk outside. But what we're looking at here, uh, the, the repairs that we're looking at, even though it looks severe because of the materials of the mobile home and everything, we're looking somewhere below 5000 and we can flip this for at least 18000 you know, make some good 13000 you know, out of it. But uh, it's possible. It's, it's the lot itself is worth at least fourteen thousand dollars. So okay. if the worst to worst, remove the mobile home. We, you can give it away to someone if you want to, and just clean the lot. And the lot itself is worth fourteen thousand dollars. So awesome, awesome, yeah, awesome. And uh, and you see, with mobile homes, there's multiple options that you can do to make money with them. Uh, you have first the land and then you actually have the uh, structure itself that's on here this right here is a double wide it's a uh, three bedrooms two bathrooms would you say correct about maybe 1400 square foot or 1200 square foot 14 1400 square foot and so what we can do with this right here is uh we can sell it to somebody they can take the mobile home off of it uh they can fix it move it to their own land or we could keep the mobile home here on the land that it's currently on which is going to be way less uh, cheaper than having to get a truck and moving it um, there's multiple options that we can uh, do with it. Uh, we can sell it to this person outright for cash, or we can do a uh, um, a creative financing deal where they give us a certain money down and make payments on it each month, um, and then they fulfill their financial obligations of paying it off within a few years or a couple years. So, anyways, let's go ahead. I'm gonna actually jump this fence. Give this to my man Pedro. So right now, I'm 33 years old. I want to show you my fence jumping skills, which I learned 20 years ago when I was 13. <laughs> so we're gonna try and find a stable part of the fence. And that's how they just do it. That's how ninjas jump fences. Make sure you do it during the daytime. You know, especially if you're like me and Pedro. You know, I'm a black dude. He's a Mexican dude. You don't want to do this at nighttime because uh, folks. <laughs> well, you know what I'm getting at. So, <laughs> so we're going to put this on pause and we're going to have Mr. Pedro jump the fence. I'm not going to jump it. You're not going to jump it? <laughs> no, I'm not. All right. So right now, I'm actually in the mobile home right now. And as you can see, it's very... It's a very dangerous structure. You gotta be very careful when you're in stuff like this because I could easily step in here and fall through into the foundation. So, as you can see, this mobile home is burned very, very, very badly. One thing that I have is um, I have the contract with me, the purchase sales contract, just in case uh, police or anybody come along and think that we're trespassing or doing something shady we can show them that we have equitable interest in the property and so that we're uh, supposed to be here so let's go ahead and look further in here let's see what we can see but as you can see this whole thing is probably going to need to come 
down potentially. The issue with this house, the reason why the lady is giving this to us for free is because, uh, oh, watch out for that hole. There's a big hole right there. Like this section right here is a uh, pretty uh, steady, but uh, watch out for that hole right there. And this whole section right here, uh, the the floor is pretty much shaking in. But uh, the reason why this lady is wanting to get rid of this place is because she's getting fined. She's getting fined a thousand dollars, where they're threatening to fine her a thousand dollars a day because of the unsafe structure. So she has to get rid of the property, otherwise uh, it's gonna definitely be a financial drain on her. But um, this section of the mobile home isn't bad. Oh, right. This section of the mobile home isn't bad, but it seems like probably about uh, floor is feeling kind of weak right here on the patio section. Yeah, this is a I don't know. Um... All right, but yeah, it looks like uh, what about seventy five percent of the house is burned. <laughs> yeah. And so what we'll do later on is we'll ask the neighbors. Uh, Pedro actually brought up a good idea. Just ask the neighbors uh, what's been going on with the house and uh, get some some information. And, and, and it looks worse than it seems. But basically, you have two beans in the bottom. Well, actually, four and a double white. Mm -hmm. And you can see them, they're solid. So you can build anything on top of it. And even though you said 75% looks that damage, it's only about 40% damage. So. All right. So we need to take some pictures. Yep, definitely. Definitely. All right, I'll take some pictures real quick. Okay, this is the kitchen area. And this is what I'm going to point at. This one. Okay, have you notice the studs? Mm -hmm. They're two by, four, two by two. They're very small, but they're all intact. There's a few burn, but mostly what's the outside. Okay. The same with the so we're gonna salvage all those studs. All these studs on the roof, they stay in the ceiling. And all you do is just put another panel, and that's it. All right. And so, do you feel like uh, most of this right here? Uh, trash. All this we have just to clean it up, and yeah. but but structurally, you feel like it's sound. And and, and the reason I'm saying it, you see the studs, the the six by two, mm -hmm. the one you were walking on. Yeah. Those are under the trailer. They didn't get touched. Very important. When you're walking in houses like these, you walk on the studs so you don't fall through. You don't want to fall through because that's not a good look for anybody. Okay. And then you All right, cool. So uh, about how much would you say the repairs on a house would, like this would be? 15,000 or 20,000. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got to be very, very careful when you're getting contractors because uh, uh, you hate to say this, but like I'm not going to say that most contractors will try and screw you, but... Um, a lot of folks will try to screw you. So. All right, you got any parting words, Mr. Lehaw? Let's do this. Let's let's find some money, you know? All right. Let's make some money. Ugly houses equals beautiful wallets. Right. Because that's where your money's made at. So, anyways, this is... Pedro? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say... Uh, uh, I thought you were going to... I was waiting for, uh, your, for uh, your line. <laughs> all right, this is, this is, this is Super Pedro... <laughs> <laughs> and Daniel Wiafi, the House of a Ninja. Hope you liked this video. If you liked it, uh, make sure you like it. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Check out my blog at housewhippingninja.com and download my free 223 page ebook, which will teach you how to flip houses like a ninja. Peace, God bless, and we are out of here.